like a nice, like a still life. Okay, so this week, my favorite color is orange. Uh, last week it was blue. I'll show you that really fast. Last week, my favorite color is blue. And this week, my favorite color is orange. Uh, and I'm going to use this uh, video to show you how I approach hand lettering. I always start with pencils, but I always use markers, different kinds of markers. These are great, triplets fine liners, sharpies, um, all different kinds. So uh, how I start usually is I take the complementary color and I kind of just sketch out my composition. So I'm going to write, this week my favorite color is orange. And I don't know how I'm going to do this because I'm doing it right now as we go. So let's see how this goes. Uh, I'll try to do a different couple of different styles of uh, hand lettering and I'm going to try to draw a little darker than I normally would. But you should try to draw very lightly. Um, it's better if you start very light and I'm going to just sort of block out like just kind of build my whole overall composition. So this and I always try to make my letters kind of move around. T-H-I-S. So I'm just doing a quick sketch. This. And I think I'll put week underneath because I want orange to be like here. So this week, and I'm going to hit the S right there with the W. And I'll do lowercase E's for the week. So you probably can't even see this. Let me see. Yeah, you're not seeing much. So let me start off. Okay, hold on. So I'm going to start by blocking out my letters and I'll go back and forth between blue and orange, like this is a light orange, and I'm going to then start building the thickness of each letter form. So this is the T. Can you see it? I hope you can see it. So that's the T. H. And I'm going to have the H sit next to the T like this. And then it's just kind of hard to explain how to do this, but if you watch and you just practice, you kind of get good at you. Um, you can't really, S's are so hard, <laughs> I can't do S's. Uh, I'm going to try to figure out how to show you how to do S's. Um, you really, it's the curves, it's the, it's the double curve. Anyway, so this, I thought week would go here, so this week, so I'm going to I'm going to switch to orange because I think it's getting a little too blue. So I'm just going to create like a big blocky W. There's different ways to do it. Um, and then this will be a lowercase e. See? That, I don't know if you can see that. We'll see. So then, And then I just give it thickness like this. So I keep just go around. I said, I think I said in the last video when I was a kid, we had all these refrigerator magnets, the letters, and I love take. We had this little like a, uh, like a little school box with a little chalkboard and a magnet, and it had a little case that held all the letters. And I used to take them out and I used to trace them on paper. Um, so now I see I did that. I committed too much to this. So now I don't know how this is going to go. So I have to kind of slightly sketch out, and I'm trying to be a little darker so you can actually see. So that, and then I'm going to go above it. So I go a little bit above, a little bit below. I make that little cute inside part of the E. And uh, I always try to create happy letters. Uh, when you draw a letter, it has a personality. Like this S looks a little mean, a little mean. That E looks kind of like he's screaming. And this E looks a little confused. Um, but anyways, you get it. You'll get it. It takes a while. So then... I'll put the K like this. Just keep moving your hands. That's why, oof, see, I messed up. That's why light colors and pencils are good. In fact, I don't have the orange one here, but these are really cool. They're hard to draw with. They're Crayola erasable pencils. I use these when I uh, hand make uh, sketchbooks. I'm gonna make my own uh, sketchbook for myself in this color because it's my favorite color and I want to show you how I do this too but I'll do this in another video but I use the erasable ones because that's an actual product that we sell so I kind of want it to be as clean as possible this I don't mind if it's very uh, gritty because it's it's sketchy so this week and I'm gonna put up here I'll do mm, I'm gonna put my favorite color is and I'm gonna make big orange that's what I decide I'm gonna do so I'm gonna put my 
don't know if I want to do that. Maybe I want to do a lowercase. I can't really erase. This is also a very good pencil. It's a big, my first Ticonderoga is these big ones. I like these. They're fun to hold. Uh, anyway, I'll commit back to this. Uh, this week, my favorite color is orange. And it's not my favorite color this week because last week was blue. That's not why I picked it. I picked it because we're working on, uh, I, re st I started reworking on this still life painting that's one of our floor paintings here in the shop. And I really worked on the oranges this uh, weekend at the shop. And I, I like it. I'll show it to you. Um, I like the way it looks. I'm going to do a lowercase f. Let's have a look at this. This is fun. I'm just going to have some fun here. So I'm going to do this and that. And then I'm going to see where I want it. Now, see what I did? I drew this f here. But if I go this way and this way to make a thick F, it's going to hit on that corner of the W, and I don't want it to do that. So I'm going to actually move the whole F. I'm just kind of thinking in real time. And I'm going to, this will be the top because I like this shape. I think I like that shape that's been made there. So I'm going to do that. It's called an audible. I'm calling an audible. And I'm going to come on like that and turn this. And then I'm going to go like this. And like this, so this is the F. So now I have to kind of figure out how that goes. I'm talking out loud, so I, at some point I might be quiet because I really will try to focus. But I'll try to chat through the whole thing. So if you work on yours while you do this, you can see it doesn't take long. It's going to take about 20 minutes. Maybe longer. We'll see. Uh, favorite. Oh, gosh. The A's. A's are also pretty hard. There's different ways to draw an A. There's that kind of cool A. Maybe I'll draw that cool A. I think I'll draw that cool A. Look, watch this cool A. This is a different kind of A. Um, I don't know how to describe the history of this A, but maybe you've seen this A. Oof, it's weird looking. Look at that A. It's kind of weird. See the personality of the letter, what I was talking about? This A looks a little like, I don't know, like angry. Trying to make a nice calm V next to him. So here's the V. I'm running out of room for my orange. I always have to pay attention to what I have left. So my f I'm going to bend this up now because I'm thinking out loud. And i got to make that smaller. I was about to make it bigger, but then I realized I really want orange. And I have to make sure it is. I probably put is here. So I'm going to put O. I'm going to start the O up on the top of the V so I can kind of bend it up. Does that make sense? I mean, normally, if you're thinking about a composition, you might want to really sketch the whole thing out. I tend to kind of try to use it as a, a challenge for me. Like, it's a, it's a fight. It's a duel. It's a duel between the page and my brain to try to figure out how to do this. Do I want to connect this R, or do I want to not? Do I like that space? I think I like this space. See, look at this space. See this space? You see this? It's a little space in there. We talk about composition all the time. I'm always trying to make interesting use of the negative and the positive. Like, I don't really love this do this Y. I don't love this space. I like this space here. This is kind of nice, dynamic. This space is nice over here. This is a little weird, but we could decorate that. I don't love this K. It's okay. So I'm going to keep that space open. So my favor, I'm going to do a lowercase r. Oh, Now, here's a good point. So here's the O, and I started drawing the tip of the R instead of sketching the whole thing out. And right now, I've created the R at this angle, which I don't want, because then it's going to be harder for me to bend it up. So I really want it to be more like this. You see what I'm doing? It's hard to explain, but if you can see that, I hope you can see that. I hope that comes through. Uh, I want it to keep going. I started it where it was kind of bent this way, so it would be hard to, to curve it. It would be a little too... Uh, too hard to curve. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> so, favor. Now I can pretty much the the eyes. I always do a lowercase i, and I always try to have fun with the eye. See that activates that area here. Favor. How do you spell favorite? Favorite. F a v o r i t e. T's are always hard. Do I do a lowercase t or an uppercase t? I think I want to do an uppercase t, but it's not a good idea because this is all pretty much lowercase. So I guess I'll do a lowercase t. 
these are hard because now I have see I did it again no, I'm gonna keep it that way I don't know if I want to do that I'm sketching how I want the T to go again you might want to do the whole thing maybe I'll take a picture of this when it's done and you can practice by just drawing over this with a marker I don't know it's too complicated then I gotta turn the video off and oh, gosh cutting videos is so hard I don't like this see look I don't like this this I don't like it's too much of a gap so I'm gonna make the eye a little bigger I'm gonna bend it this way a little bit that's better see that do you see did you notice what I just did I'm so good at this <laughs> look at that that was really kind of dull and it's sort of but just that little bend over there it makes it look nice and it builds it up like so if there was wind like those uh, meteorologists with the jet stream the jet stream is going like this you understand it's like weather so look this e and i'm gonna do the e the e will go like this by the way if you're actually making your own bubble letter hand lettering my favorite color of the week is blah 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 please send it to me i want to see it doesn't matter if it's not really good. This is not really good. So what difference does it make? I'm making a video showing this thing. So surely you can send me a picture of yours. All right. Yikes. It's going really high up. I really got to make orange powerfully big. So I'm going to put... This is a very challenging thing right now. I don't like this M. I don't like this Y. But I'm going to stick with it because I want to keep it moving. So I'm going to put is... I think I'm going to put is... Do I want to connect it to the F? It is like that? No, I don't think I want to do that. It's hard. I don't know. Maybe I'll just stick it over here. I like this sort of angle. So I'm going to do this. My favorite color is. It's not bad. And here we go with another S. Thank God there's only two S's in this. So here's the S. Again, S's are so hard. I always try to draw the S first. And then sometimes there's this kind of like a little swoopy thing. And it goes like this. And then it's, this is the hardest part. This part right there is the hardest part. Is any of this coming out on the video? Okay, yeah, I can see it. I don't love the way this looks. It's a little dingy, but. So you go like this. I'm not gonna let it touch the eye. My favorite color is, now, this is what I'm gonna do. I just decided it. I like this. I'm gonna make the O like this. Nah. O's are hard too. See what I'm doing? This was too much, this is too much. Now I'm going in here. Yikes, I gotta do this, I gotta lower it. I see what I did here. I did this up here and it would have gone into that area. So I don't want that. This is going to go away. It's got to be lower. I want it to be on the edge of this F. So I'm going to creep the F up a little bit. Like that. I hope this is all making sense. And then I'm going to go like this. And I'm going to put the O like this. And then I'm going to hope I have room for range. I think I do. O. I'm gonna have R just on the edge of this, and I'm gonna have it go up because again, talk about negative space. I like this. I like that space. You have to think about both positive and negative space, and uh, the only way you can really think about that as you're going is if you practice drawing a lot. That's why I'm drawing little things every day on my gratitude journal. I'm drawing, I'm, today I'm going to draw a ping pong ball. Today I'm thankful for oranges, ping pong balls, and I don't know what else yet. i got to think of the other one. I'm running out of room. <laughs> oh my gosh. O-R-A-N-G-E. How am I going to fit this? I'm not going to fit this. I have to make the A smaller now. Oof. Let's see. This is a challenge now. Now I have to start really sketching out the whole thing like I always talk about. So I'm going to make the A a little small to save myself a little bit of space. See? It's like a challenge. It's like a 
Like a joust, like a chess match. Look at myself. O R A. Yikes. N is hard, because now N is like N G E. And I always don't like when there's two E's at the end. Where should that E go? If the E is like this, that's how I want the E. See, I'm sort of planning now. I have to make N and G fit in this space because <clears throat> I like. I know there's going to be something going on here. O R A N G will be a rounded thing. Do I want it to touch that? Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I'm thinking out loud now. This is going to be hard. All right, so I think I need to make this a little bigger. So this is very unorthodox to start and really finish up the E before I even do the N. She's going to be squished looking. Uh, let's see. Can I do this? Will this work? I think it's a work. Look at that. Oh my God, it's bad. It's coming off the edge. I almost didn't fit. I might go back. I might change that. Let's see. R A N. Can I do N like this? And then G like this? Yeah, that's not bad. Maybe I'll make a little N. Like this. Look, check this out. I'll try to save myself. I like this space. This is nice. I'll do this. Giving myself such a challenge. Oof, it's a stubby little N. Hold on. It's gotta be bigger. It's gotta be bigger. Yikes. I'm running. I'm losing the N. I'll fix it with the markers. Um, maybe. Let's see. O R N. Yikes. Okay. G. I could fix this by making a lowercase G, but I don't really want to do that. Should I do that? I think I have to do that. I think I have to make a lowercase g. Maybe I can make that cool g. Look, I'll make that cool g. I don't even know how that cool g looks. How does that cool g look? It does like this kind of thing. Yeah, I can probably just do it right. Yeah, that's good. I'll do that. See? Thinking out loud. You're seeing my process. Oh my gosh. I hope you're actually trying this yourself. The whole point of this was that you can actually try to do your own bubble letters because Bubble letters are fun and relaxing to do, except right now I'm, I'm a little stressed. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I wanted to do that cool G, but I guess we'll just have to do this. You see orange? It's your fault. Oranges. Oranges are good. What I've noticed about oranges, I buy a lot of oranges. Sometimes I never eat them because this is the hardest part. To get the beginning of the orange, it hurts your fingers. Have you ever tried? Oh, man, I just poked this and I got the smell of the orange. It's so nice. Oh, wow. That's nice. I love oranges. They're so good. They're so juicy. A good orange, nothing better. So, uh, there we go. Mm, I don't love it. I don't love the Z. Maybe I'm going to change the Z. I'm going to start the E coming down over here. So I can get that. That's what I wanted. And I'll have to figure out how to get rid of that. Maybe I'll white it out or something. But that's better. And then I'll just do that little turn. And then that. See? That little piece. I don't know if you can see that. Okay. Now. Here we go, I'm trying to move this along. This is a problem because I have this uh, blue. I did a little too much blue here. So maybe I'll give it like a poppy bang in the beginning. I'll just do this. I'm going to use different kinds of markers. Now becomes, now's the fun part. Now we have some fun with markers and color. I think I'll do this. I'm going to do this and then I'm going to this it's really dark oh you know why because it's going over the blue it almost looks red it's getting like an earthy tone because of the blue yeah it's okay we'll live we'll get it really orangey in the inside and then i'll try this it's not gonna work because this blue marker i mean the blue pencil the blue pencil is kind of muddying up the sharpie it's okay we'll fix it fix it in post you do this, now you just kind of trace. And there's nothing more exciting than tracing something that you yourself drew. Um, I think I need a little yellow. Use this marker. Yeah, like 
this. I'm just gonna give it a little bit of yellow to give it like some, cause I gotta break down that darkness, that kind of blue mixing with the sharpy, peachy, reddish colors, kind of lost its orangeness. So this yellow is gonna help get it a little back. And then what we'll do is we'll, we'll fix that up. Okay, so that's that. And then I'll take the most truest orange of these little thin guys that I have, and I'll start with, oh, this is the glow in the dark one. This is the bad one. Let me do this one. Yeah, this is the better one. So this one, look, I'll just do these kind of lines. And this is where you get like really kind of, put your headphones on, get some music that you like, and relax. Just do some like cross hatching. I'm actually going to do something a little different this time. I'm going to change it. Instead of going across the whole thing, I'm going to do different versions. Like different angles. Like It's almost like a, like wrapping gauze, like an ace bandage. If you injured your ankle. I don't know if that makes any sense, but Look, see, my son Luke loves to do this. He says it's very relaxing. <laughs> so you go like this, you go like this, you go like this, you go like this, and you just change the angle. Look, at this looks good. See, that's not bad. And it's just the beginning of the overall. And now I'm going to use this exact same one, except I'm going to some of this kind of try to erase some of this. The colored pencils. Crayola colored pens I use. I think they're the best to, to do this kind of sketchy. They don't erase well. Oh, no, the schmutz. Okay. So I'm going to use this that I just used. And I'm now going to do this. Now, this is fun. Because I love to kind of build. See, I messed up a little bit. That's okay because the whole thing is going to have like a sketchy look. Let's see what it looks like next to that blue one. This week my favorite color is blue. Look, I got the holy on that one. And I use some orange. I will use some blue in this as well. It's a little too thick. This week. And now you just do this. And I'm gonna sit here for the next, I don't know how long, until my ADD kicks in and I say to myself, I'm gonna go paint that still life a little bit more and I'll come back and do this. So I might not actually finish the whole thing. I see, look, it's really fun. And then I might, did I do, let me see, I, I marked it there. Yeah, see, I did stuff like that. I was thinking of outlining some of these in blue, but I don't think that's a good idea. I guess I'll keep orange. Oranges and yellows. Oh, a couple of things about orange. Should I, uh, what is the thing about orange? The color orange. It's actually, uh, they, I read about it. It said, uh, before I shot this video, I said, let me find out a little bit about the color orange. They said the color orange is, um, it symbolizes or it represents or it, it gives off a, uh, an idea of uh, creativity and joy and happiness. Um, it's like a happy color. And um, yeah, that's kind of cool. It's a happy color. I always felt it was like a Halloween-y color, and I didn't like it so much when I was a little kid. Um, I didn't really like Halloween. Sometimes I did, but not as much as other kids. But I always felt like it was like a fall color, and I didn't like the fall as much as I liked the winter. But it's a good color, and it's a really good color in like Dutch painting. Oh my gosh, Vincent van Gogh used orange so well. It's so good with orange because it's a uh, compliment to call it the blue. So if you're making like uh, paintings with or pieces of work with like blues and purples and then you just get a little bit of orange like like they use orange for cones and um, emergency things on the side of the road because it's such a bright color and you can notice it. It's cool. I like orange. Uh, what else? What else? Now I'm really concentrating because I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to decorate this thing and make it look interesting. Does it look interesting? Favorite color.
color. I'm using the same one all the time. I think I'm going to put is in this kind of reddish tone to give it like a little bit of a, it looks very similar. It looks very similar. No, it needs to be like a darker, like almost like, yeah, like this even, like a brownish with a bit of red, like a burnt sienna kind of color. Yeah, 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 this is good. See that? That looks good. Oh, S is. I wonder if I should do like a a video where I just show you how to draw S's and draw like work on one letter. But who's gonna do that? Who's gonna sit? I mean, who's gonna sit through this video? Let alone a video where you're just going about one color, one color, one color. I wouldn't. All right. So this this is the Sharpie. This is the Sharpie version of the triplets fine line. Sorry, Sharpie, you do a great job, but these ones are not as good as these. Triplets fine lines are really like. For me, for this kind of work, this is the best kind. I don't know how to say it. Statler, Triplis Fine Liner, like the Statler Brothers. It's a German company. It's really good. Oh my gosh, it's so hard to do this. I don't remember what I did when I did the other one, the blue one. How much did I chat? I think I was quiet like this a lot because I was concentrating. It's not easy to do this. Which is why you should have headphones on and put some music on. And uh, maybe I should just stop talking. Put your headphones on. I'll just, I won't say a word. I'm kidding. I can't do that. <laughs> but you should uh, get a piece of paper. Write this week my favorite color is. And pick your own favorite color. It doesn't have to be orange. If you want it to be orange. Uh, you can make it orange for the week. We could just do orange together. I'm going to do a bunch of stuff with orange colors. I'm also going to work on, oh, I'll show you, this thing. This is the blue whale that I drew last week because of the my favorite color being blue. And I, I drew this and then I drew it again and I colored it in with a black marker and I created a PDF of this and I sent it out in an email. So if you got my email, you can download this from the email and you can print it. And I'm going to do a little um, line work drawing on that in another video. And I'm hoping that the kids will do that too. And you. I have a feeling if you're watching this and you're an adult, you're not even showing your kids. This is the one thing I'm wondering about. I can go on a rant right now. So every kid that comes into the shop, I say to them, Hey, did you see my videos? And they all look at me like I have two heads. Like, no, what are you talking about? And the mom's like, oh, I saw your video. I saw your video. The dad's like, oh, yeah, your videos are great. Did you show the kids? No, no, I didn't show the kids. Why not? The whole point of making these videos <laughs> so that the kids will draw. I want kids to draw, especially now, not just because of COVID, but the, word, the world we're in right now. Kids have to draw because drawing, I'm writing a little article right now about drawing and how it's so critical to um, kind of adapting socially to your world around you. Um, because when you draw, you become aware of your surroundings and you become aware of the positive and negative space and you start to see things differently and um, with appreciation and critic, uh, like a critical look. So if you're drawing something like, for instance, is orange and you're really trying to draw it, you're going to start really focusing on how does, it draw, how does the orange look like in space how is it interacting with the things it's doing? So if you think about that in life, drawing is really important because you can learn about life and appreciate life and be more critical about the things that are around you. So going back to this now, I'm going to change this. Uh, this is too red. I can't do this color. I have to do a light color now because I really overpowered that thing. So I'm going to look for a yellow. Can I find a yellow that I like? This is too light. I think this is too light. It's too light. I need a different color. Maybe I'll use blue. I'll knock it down with blue. That's what I'll do. Okay, that's what I'm going to do because this is really harsh right now. So I'm going to go like this. I should have done a different direction, but I'll just go like this on the whole blue. I'll take it all the way down like this. I think that'll work. It's just going to give it a little bit of a, because there's that blueness going on here. So I might as well just enhance that and keep it going. Does that make sense? I hope it makes sense. So I'm going to do that. Just a little yellow there. And then I'm going to go back to my orange, which was, I think, this one. Yep. 
and I'm going to go back to this sort of way. Every other letter, I do stuff like this. So I tried to come up with a logic to the way I approach the lines, and then I just sort of, sometimes I alternate, because I think it looks nice and it keeps the flow going. So this will be like this, this will be like this, go like this, go like this, and you know. And then, oof, there's so much blue in that pencil. I can't erase it. That's why I should have used my erasable colored pencil. I got a little bit of it, that's good. And now I'll just, I'll keep it this, this way, like that, and I'll go like this. And the thing I love about these lines when you do it like this, it kind of gives you the idea there's a blueness to that color, but it's not overpowering. If you sit there and go like this, two things. It looks harsh, and I don't like it. Two, you burn the nibs out and you waste more ink. This is more conservative use of the pen, so you get more life out of it, which is really why I started doing this. And then I realized afterwards, it actually looks kind of nice because it just gives a subtle blue tone to it. And then you could even do stuff like this. Um, not with that one, though. You can do stuff like this. Let me check this pen. Um, let's see. I guess we'll do this one. You can do little orange dots inside, except these lines are too close together and my glasses are not strong enough, so I'm going to probably skip over some stuff, but look at this. You see this? This looks good. And when you mix tiny little orange dots with these thin blue lines, oh, see, it's hard to do. Overall, it just creates a nice, pleasing balance of color, like a print. So the origin of all of these little dot things that I do and all these line work is, is hinged on printmaking. Its origins are in printmaking because printing, like commercial printing, uh, etching, lithography, all these things, it's based on tiny little workings of lines or dots of color. See, look at that. See how nice that looks? This looks good too, but that's kind of nice. Um, but yeah, so if you look at a magazine through a, with a loop, you'll see tiny little dots of cyan, magenta, yellow, and black all over the place. It's amazing. And um, that's what I love about printing. And that's why I got this idea to do this stuff with all my um, uh, colors. It gives it a nice life. I'm looking for a nice orange marker to use. This has got a purple cap because I, I misplaced somewhere along somewhere out in the world in this shop is a purple pen and an orange cap. I don't know where it is. So right now I just want to keep it covered. Let me try this. Let me try this. I'm trying different things. It's taking long. I don't know how long this video is. Let me see how long this video is. Oh my god, it's a half an hour already. Yikes. I gotta hurry. Okay, I'm gonna go faster just to get it going. This is a little light, but look, it's 33 minutes long so far, 33 minutes and I've gotten this far. It's not bad. If you've stuck around for this entire video and you're drawing your own, God bless, thank you so much. <laughs> Let me know you stuck around this long. Who stuck around this long? I've been told that I gotta make videos quick and short because no one has the attention span. I have ADD. I have no attention span, but look at me. I'm spending 33 minutes on this thing. I'm starting to get a little antsy. It's taking me a long time, but I'm gonna keep going, and I'm gonna keep going. See, look at that, that looks nice. And now I'm gonna go, I was thinking of putting a pink there, but that's too much. What should I do? Maybe I'll get back to this brown. Is this gonna work? Let's see. Ooh, that looks purple. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna keep this. If it's too harsh, the color, when I start doing it, I commit to it. I say I'm gonna do it. I'll give a lot of separation and, and with the knowledge that I'll put little orange dots in there, which will give it like an overall orange if that's the color that I'm going for because my favorite color is orange. So I'll do something like this and then I'll go back to this sort of thing and I'll do, maybe I'll do like this. And then every other one I'll do, let's say I'll do, why not? I'll put blue here. Look at this. That might have been a bad idea. Let's see. And then I'll put orange like this, like this. And then I'll put blue like this. So 
So whenever you're hand lettering, it's always good to have not too many colors to pick if you're making a composition like this because if you put too many colors it's going to get a little overpowering like this might be a little overpowering so I might want to put some yellow here I'll put yellow over the blue but that might make green which might not work anyways all right so that's how far I'm gonna get because I gotta go because <laughs> I can't do this anymore I need a break I'm gonna take a break soon no I'm not gonna take a break yet I'm gonna keep going with this I want to finish this letter this I don't love so I'm gonna try to figure out if it looks good and then maybe I'll finish I'll finish my favorite later and I'll do orange right now with this video so we can kind of see orange and I think I'll do something like this with the orange because I like it Oof, this is really like purpley that's why it didn't work so well yeah I'm not loving this K but that's okay um, that was a bad idea with the yellow and the blue but let's see if I do it again let's try it so every other what did I do oh this one and I go like this and I go like this a little uh, word to the wise sometimes when you're doing this kind of hatching, especially on a letter K, um, you'll tend to do like this area first, like and then and then when you get to this area, if you do this kind of every other thing, you might have missed. So it's always good to kind of do like and then go over there, and then go over there, and then go, you know what I mean? Because if you get to this edge and you're doing every other, I've done it before, I'm like, uh-oh, and there's a shift. I don't know if it makes sense, but I've had that happen a lot when I do hatching on my bubble letters. I love saying bubble letters. Yeah, I'm not loving this blue. This is a bad idea with the blue, but I'm living with it. It is what it is, Mr. Me. Did you ever see uh, We Bought a Zoo? Man, I love that movie. I really don't want to do this yellow again, but now I'm committing to it, so I'm going to do it. And I think what I'll end up doing with this, because it's a little too much, is I will get like an orange pencil and I'll watch. Let me see if I can fix this and make it more orange. Yeah, this is going to work. See, look. See what I did? So that just a little touch of orange gives it a little bit of more orangeness. Not bad. If I put orange over this, what would happen? It's not orangey enough. That yellow and blue mixing gives me like a green optics, which is bothering me a little bit. Okay, it's not my best, but it's okay. It's too. It's too. What does it need? It needs something. It needs something. Maybe a little red because it's so. Yeah, like the red and the orange and the yellow will mix together to make it look more orangey. I think that's not going to work, but let's see. I think it worked. What do you think? I'm probably not even noticing it. Let me see if you can notice it. That's not bad. All right. Let's do orange. Let's do the orange. Let's do this. I'm going to use... This one is the one I, this is like my go-to orange uh, fine liner. So here we go. I'm going to, this nice big space. So I'm going to go like this. I'm going to go three like that. And then underneath, I'm going to do this. Look, this is fun to do. A couple of these dots like that. And then I'm going to go three again. You just kind of come up with your own graphic vocabulary. Uh, and then here I'll do another like this. So it's like a repeat pattern. And this time I'm not going to do three. I'm going to do one. And then I'm going to go this one. Like this. And I'm going to take that to about maybe here. And then I'm going to do this like this. Because I want to. And I'm going to go like that. And then I'm going to go like this. And I'm going to keep going because I kind of like the way this looks. And I just keep doing this until I 
feel like it's time to do something else. Um, so I'm gonna go like that. And then maybe I'll do another one of these to kind of connect that look. And then I'll do this, I'll do this, I'll do this, and I'll stop. And then I'll do, what should I do? No, I'll go like that. Why not? And I'll do this. And then I'll do this. And then I gotta be careful because I'm up here in this area and I'll do this and then I'll go this way. I don't know why, I just decided to do that. And then I'll go in here and I probably want to change some of the color so I'll get a different one. Let me find a different one. Oh, I'll get red. I'll put a little, just a little touch of red in here. This one's a very dark red. Too much red. And I'm going to take that red and bring it here too. See, it kind of looks like it's from that, but it's not really. But it kind of looks like it. That's not bad. And then I'll do this. It's fun. And then I'll go like that one up. And then and then I'm gonna dar darken this a little bit like that. Because it's a little schmutzy over here. And then I'll go one, two, three again, and then I'll darken this. Because I kind of like the way that looks. Give it a little pop of color. And then I don't know how I'm gonna resolve that because it's very murky. So I guess I'll just do this. Um, and now I'll do, I'm going to change the color. I wish I could find that. I'm trying to find, I found it. I think I found it. This one, yeah, I like this color. Again, not the right pen cap. Is it? No, it's not the color. This is the color. This is the one I was looking for. It's, see a different yellow? It's sort of tan, but it has yellow in it. I'm going to try this color. Gosh, it's super brown. This is nice. See that? That looks good. I like that. All right, so to recap, when you're doing hand lettering, bubble letters, whatever you want to call them, uh, it's always good to work in pencil in the beginning. Sketch out your composition. Uh, don't worry if it gets messed up. Every week, you're going to pick a new color, and you can do a different one, and by the end of several weeks, it'll start looking pretty good. Um, this one's not my best, but every single one I do of these things, like a little challenge, I used to do when I did birthday parties here, I would write the kid's name every week on a big piece of butcher paper, and then we would all decorate it. It was a lot of fun. Um, sometimes I really messed those up, and I did them like more than once, but they always liked them. Every parent, they're always like, oh, that looks really good. Anyway, so I'm going to color this red. Look, this shape right here. Just saw uh, this go like this, I like that. And then I'll do an orange, an orange, an orange, an orange, and I'll get these dots back, repeat that pattern. It's a lot of fun. I'm gonna stop with the O because I think this video is way too long. I can't imagine anybody's watching it to the end. If you are, I appreciate it. If you wanna learn more about drawing bubble letters and hand lettering, um, and you have ideas of what would help me show you how to do it, please let me know. Um, it's just this thing that I've always done to relax my nerves. And I enjoy it very much, and so I keep doing it. And I wish I could figure out a way to get yellow in there. Did this work? It's too thin. Let's see, maybe if I... No, that's too dangerous. I was going to color the whole thing in yellow. But if I do this... I might call it this shape in yellow. I like the way that looks. Yeah, I might call this whole thing in yellow. Is this gonna be a bad idea? Let's see. Maybe I'll do this first. I kinda like this. Yeah, so it's less of a shape. I think that was gonna be too much, too big a shape. And now the other thing is I should have somewhere else in this cup in this letter that has that yellow. I don't know where it would be though. Unless it's 
unless it's these right here this is what I'll do I'll do this one this will be yellow under the dots and this will be yellow under the dots and no maybe this it's always good to have like a little bit of a repeat pattern I think I just skipped one and like this and then like that that's kind of cool okay so that's that and then um, I'm gonna keep working on it but I'll probably uh, not necessarily speak too much because I'll probably do like a speed up version of this so no one's ever really gonna listen to this because no one's gonna ever hear it I just moved the stool that's what that was that was the stool moving it's really hard to do this and talk I gotta get better at this this is pregnant every week I'm gonna do this so every week I'm gonna come online yeah, I was just looking at it from the from the camera it looks pretty good I like the way this looks I'm gonna put a touch of blue in here it's a bad idea because blue and orange blue is the complementary color of orange so when you mix blue and orange together in paint you get like a brown color um, Oof, that's so dark. See that? That's way too dark. Yikes. I think I might have to do this now. Because that hatch line was overpowering the orange of that. I gotta go back to my trusted old orange. I think I'll do this one. This is a lighter color, so I'm going really tight with the hatch because I want to be able to pick up that kind of peachy color. I think I'll do that. I'll do this little piece. I'm going to give it like a little bit more thickness there like that. And I'll try to repeat that down here somehow. In my brain, I'm going to keep a record of this because I have this kind of like sharp triangular looking piece over here that's or almost like this orangey red. Here. And now I have to find my other orange that I like so much. I think is this one. And I'm gonna not do that there. I'm gonna do where's that yellow? This yellow. I'll put this over here. I'll do this, 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 and then I'll go back to my orange. And I'll do this, this. Oh, that's really tight. See that? I'm putting them so close together it almost looks solid. And I messed up the idea of doing that, but I guess I'll put it over here. So now I'll do this, this. I also try not to do stuff like I just did right now, so it doesn't look like it's joining into each other. I tried to do different hatches. I don't like the way that looks. This is the dark one, right? Yeah, let's put that here. I keep moving my stool. I apologize for that. It's making a squeaky noise. You hear that? That's my metal stool that I'm sitting on, but I got off of it. I'm now kneeling because my back hurts. This is fun. You should try it. If you can tell by my voice, I'm so relaxed. <laughs> Are you relaxed? It's relaxing. You should do it. Come on. Do it. Just get a piece of paper. Just draw. Look at that. <laughs> Oof, that was an interesting idea. Draw bubble letters. It's so fun. Um... I wish I had a yellow. Maybe this color will work. Not really. It's not bad. If I put that inside this thing. I gotta stop that. That's not working. It's like a... It's like a puzzle that you create. You make your own... Choose your own adventure. Remember those books? When I was a kid, they had choose your own adventure books. Those were fun. Alright, so here. I, I know what I'll do. I can ramble on about this because I'll talk about my ideas. So I'll watch this video to give myself ideas. Um, what am I going to work on today? After I shoot this video, I'm going to do a couple of quick videos around the shop. I'm going to show you the still life that I did. Uh, it's been on the floor. It's one of our floor paintings. It's been on the floor for, I guess, over a year now. And it was uh, started as just like a lot of my paintings start in the, in the toddler sensory workshops like with the baby classes that I do. Um, 
and I just let the kids kind of just paint on a piece of Home Depot drop cloth on the floor. And this is too dark, see that? And this one started to look a little bit like oranges, like oranges, or like a still life. You know what a still life is? Like a painting of fruits or vegetables or uh, inanimate objects. And it really started to look like a still life, so I kind of went with it and I, I'm just checking to make sure it's still on the camera. And so I, um, oh, this is the glow in the dark orange. I started working on it and I started creating this tabletop for it to be on and I tried to refract space. I'm going to move the stool because I keep bumping into it. And uh, it started to look really cool. And then it started to look really muddy. But this weekend, I started working on it again with a couple of the kids that were in our workshops and it looks good. And it's back, and I'm working on it, and I'm excited to see what's going to happen. I don't know if I should do this, but I'm going to try this. Watch what I'm doing. Watch the difference now with this Sharpie marker. This Sharpie marker does not look orange. It looks red. It's weird. It's orange, but it looks red. How come these markers never have the colors written on the thing? I guess because they have to manufacture so many of these things. I understand, Sharpie, why you do that. I get it. I know why you're doing that. Just wish you wouldn't. Let's go back to this brown. I like this brown color. It's giving it like an earthy tone. Come on, you see what I'm doing? It's so cool. Uh, all of these, um, I'm not say ancient civilizations, but historical civilizations. North Africa, Egypt, these places, uh, Tunisia, they did stuff like this. They made like these patterns and they had the language to their patterns. Like this blue doesn't exist anywhere else, so it's not good. I should have put more blue somewhere. Um, where else can I put the blue? I guess I have to do this now, up here, make it part of that whole sequence. But. They just made these really interesting, intricate patterns, and they had stories behind them. And I don't know what the stories were. I'm going to put a little bit of blue there just to give it like a balance. And I'm going to put, I'm going to do this. I'm going to put a little bit more orange here, and I'm going to put blue here. See this? See what I just did? I think that's nice. I think that helped. Look at that. Come on, that looks good. And I'm going to do it here too. Just a little bit of blue. Look at that. Come on, that looks good. See that? Oof. I think that looks good. And then I'm going to make this, this more reddish here. And I'm going to make this, that was too much. I shouldn't have done that. That was a bad idea. Just by doing that now, I have to do this. Do you see why I'm doing that? I made that red line so harsh that it kind of pushed back this part of the orange. So now, the R, I should say R. Orange. I got orange on my brain, so when I say the letter R, it comes out orange. But see that? Now that I did that, now I have to do this. See, this is the game that you play when you get stuck in this kind of situation. I'm going to do lightly on that one. I'm going to just settle that down. See, that's helping that, because if I didn't do that, it would flatten everything out. And I gotta make it look like it's existing in space. Not outer space, but space it has depth and range. Now, there's so much chaos going on in these two letters that I want to calm it down on this one. That's my goal. So I think I'm going to take a calm color maybe even yellow across the whole thing to start. Let me see, I'm gonna try that. It's not gonna work, but I'm gonna do this, watch. I'm gonna do this. I'm just gonna do this. You're probably not even seeing it. I'm putting thin yellow lines across the whole A, just like that. And then I'm gonna go over it with orange lines. And it's gonna change a little, it's gonna get fuzzy because I'm not gonna go over the lines perfectly, but that's okay goes back to the whole conversation I had before where I talk about whatever it is I talked about. <laughs> the uh, different colors, the shifting of colors. So look, watch. 
just going to be very thin lines trying to trace over the yellows that are, exist already but I'm not going to lose my mind if I don't so that's a good thing this video is going to take all day to upload as of filming this it is Tuesday afternoon I don't know what time but you'll see this probably video on Tuesday night because it takes forever to upload these videos. You have to understand. I uh, I don't know how anybody does this. They shoot videos, they write videos, they script them, they edit them, and then they post them. I, I don't know how they do this. It's unbelievable. So if I put it in an iMovie. See that? See that? See how that looks? Just kind of calmed everything down a little bit, take a break. Like you have all this stuff going on, and now you have these two. And I think I kind of want to put blue in there to balance the stuff out, but I don't know if I want to do it. Should I do it? Oh my gosh. Let me see what I did in the other one. Did I ever do something like that? Where is the other one? No, I did stuff like this. That looks good on the letter. Let's try something. So here I'm going to do this. Watch. I'm going to put a line like this. I'm going to put a line like this. A line like this. A line like this. And I'm going to go like this. Uh, and then that'll help me there because I messed up there. So that's not bad. And then I'll do this. 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 And then I have to come up with what I'm going to do in, in between. So in between, I think I'm going to do this. Look at this. Why not? What difference does it make? Look at this. It's kind of fun. I guess I should come up with a, like a key, a logic to these shapes. Like in these unbelievably cool tapestries from North Africa that I always tend to look at. They're so amazing. And then there was one time we went to a, what museum did we go to? The museum, I think it was the Metropolitan Museum of Art. I went with my kids and my wife and we went into that area where that giant canoe is. Oh my gosh, such a cool room. I have to find a yellow. I'm gonna use this color. A bad idea. I just got a good idea. I gotta find the color I want to use. There's that stool again. <laughs> uh, this is what I'll do. Look at this. This is gonna be cool. I'm gonna put a dot in here. I'm gonna put a dot here. A dot here. A dot here. Look at this. This is what I'm talking about. This is the kind of stuff that they do. It's so cool. Oh man. It's really fun to do stuff like this. You get the satisfaction when you're finished. Even if it doesn't look that good, you get satisfied because you actually accomplished something. It's always good to accomplish something in life. <laughs> Oof. Now I think I need to put some yellow in there. Like this, look at this. Yes, look. This, this looks good. Maybe I'll just cut this video, a couple of pieces of it. Uh, I guess I could put the full one up on YouTube. Should you want to spend an hour of your time watching someone try to draw bubble letters and do some hand lettering and give some advice, um, by all means go ahead, but I'll chop it up into little pieces. And Did I do that with that color? I can't remember. That looks kind of good, except there's not a lot of orange going on. So I think I need to do this. Watch what I'm going to do, because that blue is a little harsh. So I'm going to do this. Watch. Uh-oh. No, not this one. That's the one that glows in the dark. This is the one. This is like the best one. When you buy these tripless fine liners, they come in box in sets of 10 or 20 or 48 even, I think. I bought all the different sets at one point, but I just went to Staples the other day and bought two sets of 10. One I keep here in the shop. And the other I took home. Um, what did I do there? I did that wrong. And I did that because uh, I want to at least have the, the basic colors. And the basic orange that comes in that set of 10 
It's a good orange. It's good. Highly recommend getting these markers. I use these markers to do my little drawings of things. I'm going to try to draw a ping pong ball with these markers today. <laughs> it's hard to draw a ping pong ball because ping pong ball is white. So I'm going to use the white of the paper for the ping pong ball, but I'm going to do shading and stuff. I probably won't show a video of that because this is enough. All right, so uh, that's not bad. I feel like it needs something. Maybe, uh, maybe a little of a little orange colored pencil in there, maybe to give it. It's the blue is a little too much. It's overpowering. So just a subtle little shaded orange. It's kind of overpowering the blue, but getting a little murky. Okay, so that's that. Now, I think with the G, because it's so strong and the E is pulling up, I'm going to uh, get a little red on here. And I'm going to put a little, not there, I'm going to put a light color there. Is this the glow in the dark one? No, that's good. I'm going to go straight up like this. Oh yeah, so see what I did? So with the A, I did this way. Now with the G, I'm doing this way because this, I think it's going to look nice. And I'm going to just go down like this. It's nice. Like that. I'm thinking of doing the whole G like that, but I don't want to. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to take like that. And then I'm going to get back to that blue dots over there. I'm going to put these blue dots like this. Like that. And then I'm going to take this, like that, like this, like that. See what I'm doing? It's fun to do. Wow, I still have a whole letter to do. This took a long time. But look, if you think about it, it's an hour. Hour of your day, slowing yourself down, because that's the thing about this. This process of doing this, it slows you down. It has to because you have to be slow. You can't be quick. There's other ways you can do it. If you want to be quick about things, you can do it. But this particular technique that I do, that's what I do to relax. It's important to relax. I know what I'm going to do there. I'm going to put another touch of blue right here. I like that little pop of blue. See that? I like that. I'm kind of repeating that area. See what I did there? I screwed up. I drew over those lines. So I can either leave it or I can do something about it. I'm going to do something about it by darkening this line in. See what I'm doing? I hope my face is, my top of my head is not in the camera. And now I'm going to do another one of those here, arbitrarily sort of. What did I do? I skipped two, so I got this one right here. I think that's kind of nice. Now I guess I have to do it somewhere else. I'm, I'm just going to do it over here. And then I have to darken this in. You just kind of work it. You just kind of work it. Oof. It's something to do. I, uh, if you have headphones, and there's like a, an album that you love that you can listen to front to back, the whole album. Put on the album. Get a piece of paper and listen to the whole album while you do this. You'll be surprised. The album will be finished before you know it and you'll be like, wow, oh, I just disappeared for like 45 minutes into my own psyche. And... Uh, like meditation and you meditate on the color so I'm thinking about the orange so what am I gonna draw this weekend I mean this week um, this past weekend I drew all the oranges and with these two big new paintings in our back wall I used this orange and this peach color I'll show it to you I, uh, I think it's good it's starting to come together it's got a lot of work still to do. And uh, I also told Willoughby that I'm going to work on uh, Tiaga this weekend. When I got in, I keep saying this weekend, 
when I got in this morning, Willoughby was standing right next to Tiaga, my big elephant painting. And I was like, Willoughby, what are you doing? Why are you right here? And I realized I think he was there because he wants me to work on Tiaga. So I said, do you want me to work on Tiaga? And he didn't say anything. Uh, but I think that's what he wants. So I'm going to work on Tiaga, our big elephant painting this weekend, because I haven't worked on her in a long time, and I think she needs to be worked on. I need to get more blue. She misses being worked on, I think. I'm going to put a little blue right there. I'm going to figure out how to make this blue shape. I'm going to go... Oh, that's cool. Watch this. Watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to go... I'm going to make that whole thing blue. Watch this. This could actually destroy the whole thing or make it even better. Let's see. Yeah, I think it looks good. too much I gotta go all the way now yikes might be too much I'm gonna put another tiny pocket of blue right there and now I gotta really that's a little intense so I think I need to make another thin line in there so it gets more orangey I'm not gonna have to be able to do it there so I'm gonna make another space there and then I'm gonna just finish it off by going down the whole way like this which is sort of what we were doing in the top this that's a little too much I think I need yeah I'm gonna do this yeah look at that get a little pop of orange right there on the edge so good I think that'll help with that and now again I think it's turning into red but I, I'm using the red on the edges to get it like to pop out more because the red is a little more intense orange is made with red and yellow did you know that Probably knew that. So like this, and how do I finish this? Maybe calmly. Do I finish it calmly? Is this the glow in the dark one? This is a good one. Okay. Oof. I think I'm gonna finish it like this. Just the. Is this in the camera? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna get back on my stool. So I'm gonna do it like this. Oh my God! I almost <laughs> just fell off the stool. Woo! So funny. I just sat on the edge of the stool and the back edge almost fell backwards and I used my knees to stop myself on the table. That would have been funny. Could you imagine? Wow. Willoughby, I almost fell. Willoughby never speaks back to me. I always ask him questions. He never answers. He just shows up in different spots in the shop so I know what he's saying based on where he is. So like today, he was right by Tiaga, my elephant. So I knew he wanted to work on my elephant, Tiaga. So we're going to work on our elephant, and we're going to work on that this week. Maybe we'll even use some orange. Um, all right, so I still have a lot to do, but man, oh man, this video is long. It is one hour and ten minutes long. This will never upload. All right, I'm going to stop for now. I'm going to keep working on my favorite. I don't know yet what it's going to be, but... I might have to do stuff like this. Oof, that's too much. See that? I started drawing and I went too fast and I pressed too much. And now I don't know where my thick thing is. If I can erase this. Yeah, it's a little. You want to be very, very subtle with like a little bit of blue. It gives it like a little life. You see that? I don't know if you can pick that up. But see what I'm doing? just putting a little blue behind the lettering to kind of just give it like a just the, the, the orange and the blue kind of interact with each other and this is too thick this is too thick this is too thick this is too thick it's more like this I think these are nice inside just a little bit not too much just a little this I would love to be able to get rid of some of that pencil because I like that white space. Okay, so you see it? Now, to analyze this, we're talking about negative and positive space. I don't love the T. It's a little messy. I went with the thick sharpie. It was a bad idea. It's too bulky, but it's okay. This week, my favorite color. 
I never wrote the word color. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Oh my gosh. I got so caught up in the video. Oh my gosh. Did you notice? Are you like, Frank, you didn't write color. This week, my favorite is orange. Maybe you, you know that I got to put color in here. Oh my gosh. My favorite color. <laughs> How come you didn't stop me? Why didn't you tell me? I forgot to write the word color. It's okay. See what I'm doing? Oh my god, this is so funny. Ay, 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 this is bad. I gotta do this. My favorite color. Look at this. I can't believe I did this. Thank god I did a recap. I would have said, okay, bye. I would have looked at this. I would have wondered if I would have ever noticed. Someone would have noticed. Luke would have been like, Dad, you didn't write color. This week, my favorite is orange. You never know. Next week, I might be, this week, my favorite is. Maybe it'll be my thing. I won't actually say my favorite color, just my favorite is. This is weird now. Is this going to make it work better or worse? This week, my favorite color. I really liked all that space in there. Durr. Dang it. It's okay. It's okay. Life is full of mistakes, and I just made one. Oof, I just had an idea in doing that that I should do this color. Because this like the mess up. So I'll know it's like this yellowy kind of brownish color, except going over the blue. It's not a good idea. But it's okay. This week, my favorite. Oh, it looks green. That's a bad idea. I gotta go back to orange. This week, my favorite color. <laughs> this is funny. See? Look at that, huh? I'm supposed to be teaching you how to make hand lettering and bubble letters. Well, if you think about it, I'm teaching you how to make bubble letters and hand lettering. I'm not teaching you proper grammatical structures on sentences because I probably would need like a comma somewhere. This week, comma, my favorite color is orange, period, or exclamation point. So, look, you get what you get and you don't get upset. You know what I'm saying? Someone said that. My father used to say, not that. My father never said that. My father would say, if you don't like it, lump it to this day. I don't know what that means. I mean, I can guess it says, like, if you don't, you know, you don't get upset or whatever that uh, you get, you get, you don't get upset. But if you don't like it, lump it. What am I going to do with this? <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right. So, uh, there we go. To recap, this week, my favorite color is orange. So, I did this thing. I started it. I, I shot this whole video. I got an hour into it, and uh, I realized after doing a little recap that I didn't even put the word color in there. So here I go. This week, my favorite color is orange. Orange. That's my favorite color. I still have to work on these things, but I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. I'm going to let it sit for a little while. I'm going to uh, work on it a little bit throughout the week. I might even do like light blue background pieces. My uh, previous one. This week, my favorite color is blue. I never worked on it again, but I thought maybe to put like subtle yellow in the background or something, but I never did it. Maybe I'll do it this one, but every week I'm going to do a different one and I'm going to spend the rest of the week doing things with the color orange. And right now, I'm going to peel this open, even though my nails hurt from all the ink that's been under my nails, and I'm going to peel this open and I'm going to eat this orange. So uh, that's it for this video. If you've stuck around for the entirety, thank you. Uh, I'll do more videos throughout the week where I'll work on this again, quicker videos to show you. I'll do um, a couple of other lessons on hand lettering, and that's it. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.